It's time for a vibe. We have the one and only Dremo of BMW in the studio with us. We're going to be speaking about a lot today, from exactly what he's working on at the moment to exactly what we should expect for the rest of the year. But first of all, Dremo Drizzy, I've got a question for you. Who started Chi? Uh, I mean, you already know it's us, definitely us. Um, the president of um, DMW also started Chi, and David picked it up. And anything David picks up, always. No, so when you now hear like people, like other people saying Chi, how do when you, you say feel? other people, let's categorize it. Charles Okocha and his hype match. I mean, I mean, it's, it's a good thing to, you know, tap into the blessings sometimes. So, I mean, it's, it's good enough. It's That's good. good. That's How has this good. your video generated reactions? Have you heard people say, oh, you, you're saying Che from no, Charles this, Okocha? This video was like last year. Yeah. The end of last year. Oh, so. great. And he just started saying Che probably this year. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, now, uh, I know you've been very busy lately. You've been working on a lot. You have an EP that you're bringing out soon. Yes, and everybody is excited. People are looking forward to what Dremel has to offer. You came into the scene on a big scale about two years ago now. Yeah. And in the space of two years, you've managed to work so hard on your craft. And with every release that you put out, you can yeah. see how hard you are working. What has the experience been like so far with DMW? And I mean, how are you feeling about releasing this I EP? I mean, it's, it's been crazy. But this EP is like, is like the jackpot because I haven't really released a body of work for my fans to listen to. You know, I've been dropping little, little, little. But why is that? Because, you know, right now, everybody knows I'm a rapper. So mm -hmm. as a rapper, you have to drop body of work. But as a last year, last two years, I had issues with my, my management. So I was, I was changing management and it was... From where to where? From, from your east former management, to west, to <laughs> south. north to south. <laughs> you feel me? So it kind of affected the movement. So now I'm I'm balanced again. I went to I just got back from ATL. I went to go and finish. I up. saw you living yeah. life. So you're a classic IJGB uh, right yeah. now. I just got back, you know, uh, <laughs> fresh. <laughs> okay, so, let's talk about rap now. The future of rap in Nigeria. Do you think that rap has a strong future in Nigeria? I feel, I feel like if you force anything on Nigerians, they will accept it. Anything that is forced on Nigerians, they will accept it. It's just that we don't have any rapper that is really pushing. And that's what I want to do right now. Because everyone is... I actually wanted to switch to singing. I won't lie to you. Because, brother, if you're not making bread, then what's the essence? Yeah. You feel me? So, I, mean, I feel like if there's bread... You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Money is key, basically. Owoni koko. Owoni koko. But why is it? Owolo Do you know what that means? Uh, money is the cheats. Exactly. Uh, okay. So you can do anything with money. So far, there's money involved. So but that's what I'm trying it? to do with this EP. Why has it become hard for rap to grow in Nigeria? There are a couple rap artists like you that are really, really pushing and trying to break that barrier. Yeah. But it seems as though there's always a mainstream vibe that takes over. And quite yeah. frankly, it's not even just one genre, and mm -hmm. that's what's confusing. It's a couple different genres, but as soon as someone hears a jam, it flies up. Why mm -hmm. is it hard for rap artists to break into that in Nigeria? And what is your starting point in trying to do that? Um, I feel like in Nigeria, we are, we are lazy to think. You feel me? Because if you actually think about, if you are thinking about lyrically, flows, all these things, you guys are supposed to rate me. Yeah. Like, probably 8 over 10. Don't let me overhype myself. You feel me? So I just feel like we are lazy to listen and assimilate. We just want to dance. We just want to... Oh, I love you, baby. You know, <laughs> but there's some look, kind of raps that have done well in Nigeria, though. For example, the even, kind of MIS rap. Yes, even even Ojiri, yeah, and Fela did pretty well. When you dropped Fela, everybody was like, David has hit the jackpot. Yeah, you feel me? So I just I just feel like it was it was the energy because when I first started, everyone was focused on the end of it. Like, okay, what does this guy have to offer? Let's see what he has to do. So it was a lot of pressure. To be honest, yeah. To be honest, Fela. Nobody knew that Fela was going to blow up because it was a cover. Nobody put any money or whatsoever on it, but it just took off like that. Everyone messed with it. So I just feel like we, we, need, to, we need to learn how to assimilate and understand lyrics. We're just too lazy, to be honest. And it is not, it's not all Nigerians. I obviously have fans that can die for me. Mm. You get... But it's, it's just little, it's like 
20% out of 100. But have you ever been in a position, you said that at a point you wanted to actually switch and start singing because yeah. you've got to make bread. Have you ever been in a position yourself where you've had to put out songs that you yeah. haven't actually wanted to put out, but it's because that's what's going to blow more than your original content that you really want out there? Most definitely. I mean, like after, after our jury, the song I dropped wasn't my intention. I, I didn't want to drop that song. You get so I think the energy from me didn't even make the song do well because I didn't like I was singing. And anytime I'm singing, not like I don't know how to sing. I mean I call myself rapper where they sing song, but sometimes there, there are some type of singing that I feel comfortable with. And there's some type of thing, singing I don't feel comfortable with. For example, if it's the type of singing that involves your vocal disturbing. Do you feel me? Yeah. And I'm not that lovey-dovey guy. <laughs> I feel just go off key. <laughs> I mean, David doesn't do a lot of that, right? He does like basic singing. That oh, like, eh. he brother, does. as his voice is, <sighs> bro, when he starts to sing, it's crazy. I mean, like his voice is very husky, but when he starts to sing, it's always clear. Husky so, people always have the best voices anyway. I like honest. husky voices. Yeah. And chubby people. <laughs> yes, I, I find that they sing from yeah, the inside. From the, yeah. from the stomach. True. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so now you said you almost switched from rapping to singing. Yeah. What stopped you? Um, my instinct. My head was like, bro, wake up. You can always mix the two together. Rap by the sing song. You know, yeah. you know when, I'm, when I'm flowing and I just switch to like a type of Drake type of thing, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to change the scene. I'm trying to make rap sellable. That's why my lines are very cheesy. You know, I can say, I am getting paper, I've been paying one car away. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. All those lines that people get easily. You get, so that's what I'm trying to do with this EP. That's why it's called Codename, Codename the EP. So you see different sides of me. You see the soft Dremel. You see the emotional Dremel. You see the emotional. lovey dovey. Lovey dovey. Dremel. Eh? Then you see the normal Dremel, we know the action. <laughs> 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 I'm actually looking forward to this. How many songs are on the EP or how um, many tracks? To be honest, there's one song that is disturbing us. We might put it. I just recorded it yesterday. It's featuring Peruzzi. I love that song so much. So I might yeah. put it. Before it was seven, but now it might be eight. Okay. And when is yeah. this set to drop? Awesome. <laughs> you won't give us. I mean, very idea. soon. I'll, I'll let you guys know a week before it drops. So, what are your plans after the EP? Do you plan on. Because I'm not going to lie, as yeah. much as you've been there, or you've kind of kept yourself hidden from the scene for a while yeah, now, yeah, you've kept honest, yourself I'm, on I'm the back even, burner. So, do you plan on that's not even lying. That's, that's the fact. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when this EP drops, I'll definitely be touring in the US because that's why I even went in the first place to find out something. So, when. The EP drops, I'll definitely be touring. You know, maybe probably 16 cities in Yankee. Interesting. Now, before we let you go, who are the rappers that you look up to internationally and locally? You've mentioned Drake with style, so yeah. I feel like you really like I mean, Drake. like, I've been arguing about Drake on Twitter. They have been bashing me, but I don't care. The guy is number one, forget. I saw, actually, like, I think this, I saw your tweet saying yeah. he's number one. I agree with you. Yeah, I do. he's number one. <laughs> people you know say why, he's number one. Do you know why I say Kanye? he's number one? Some some people saying Kendrick. Some people, I mean, I love yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick with my life. Of fans, I actually. love Kendrick with my life. Like Kendrick is, I'm I'm Kendrick's biggest fan. But Drake, why I said Drake is number one was because there's no way you can respond to some certain things. But the way he responded to it was like, bro, what are you saying? Think. So he now made everyone that doubted him look like dummies. Yeah. You feel me? So that's what I'm saying, bro. So Drake on the Drake, international scene. Kendrick Lamar Kendrick as well. Lamar, Kanye, okay. Jay-Z. So let's bring it home. Okay, let's bring it home. Um, uh, I mean, I already know the rapper that had my heart. Like, I had a crush on him I mean, growing up. I mean, I mean, I like, I like, I like Vector. Okay. I like M.I. <laughs> M.I. There we go. Thank yeah. God. That's my number one. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one I used to have a serious song, crush song on, on him. EP. I spoke about him a little bit. Oh, I, mean. yeah. I told him one day, I said, I used to have a crush on you growing up, but I outgrew it. <laughs> and then he said, oh, like, you outgrew me, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like, because, that uh, is shut good. Up, <laughs> I mean, um, am I Olamide? Bado. Bado. Um, okay. I mean, so many. Reminisce. Damn. Reminisce. We look, actually, we look forward to seeing what your EP and has. And as well. 
Oh yes, I like Nasty yeah. C. I recently said like I, him I with that. You know what? I'm, I think I'm Nasty C's biggest fan, and I never thought I would be. It's only but one the of, guy it's is only one so of Nasty solid. C's songs I've heard. Do that one? Which up one? with the weights, I work. Is that Ooh. not his song? Yeah, Down that's, with the packer. That's Run Song song. With yes, one and yeah. that's the Nasty only one I heard, and I fell in love with him. Yeah. But it's been great having you, Jeremy. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks, Rizzy. Absolute pleasure. How can people follow you on social media to find out what you're up to? Okay. um... What's what happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter is Dremo Dreezy, D R E M O D R I W Z Y, and Snapchat, where we do the coded things. It's code name Dremo, C O D E N A M E Dremo. Your Snapchat is popping. Popping. Coming soon. I can't imagine. Popping like champagne. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. To enjoy more of this, our we'll Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love him.